All right, YouTube. So it's been a while since I did anything to the car, right? So for the new year, I guess I will give the car a little bit of a new look. I don't know how well you can see this, but the headlight condition is not the greatest. Uh, it's it's quite yellowy and it just doesn't look really clear. So I figure why not go for a yellow uh, headlight look. Uh, might as well just go all yellow, right? So today's this is what I'm gonna do. I have a uh, bottle of soap water. It's just a little bit of soap. Prefer Johnson and Johnson baby soap, but I don't have that. So we'll see how this goes. It's a, uh, I would say maybe like a teaspoon of uh, the soap and just filled everything, the rest of the bottle with just regular water. What I have here is a steam cleaner. I'm using a steam cleaner to help instead of using a heat gun because heat gun will activate the adhesive and it will ruin the film and you might even end up with uh, adhesive stuck on the the headlight so with this it's gonna help moisturize the film while it heats it up enough so you could stretch the film and it's just perfect so it keeps it moist and it does the job of heating it up helping it to stretch around the curvy headlights this is probably one of the worst headlights to wrap because it's so big and so roundy so let's get started I'm gonna spray this with soap water that way it doesn't tack onto the lens right away I believe there's two film one for the front protection one is the actual adhesive side so we'll see which one so I did have the adhesive side I'm gonna spray some water as I peel just to make sure my hands stay moisturized as well so my hands my fingers don't get stuck on the film and as well when you peel the backing it doesn't get stuck to each other and I spray the back of this as well okay now we're just gonna lay it on of course when you cut it uh, make sure it's um, the right proportion you don't want to cut a little too short or you, although the film will stretch you don't want to stretch it too much so I have a squeegee in hand just gonna put it right here I'm going to go ahead and peel off the front film first because this is gonna be an issue when I try to squeegee and when I heat it up, this thing is gonna be all messing you up. So, as you go, keep spraying the back. Just make sure it's not tacked in before you want it to. So, just gonna lay it down kind of like this. I'm gonna start, start the... Um, right, can you hear it? It's starting to boil. So once the steam comes out, we will, there you go, you see the steam? Alright, so this is going to help heat it up and you can feel it right away when it's, uh, when it's doing the job. The, the vinyl, uh, the film will start forming the shape you want it to form. I should probably tack down like the middle section first. Just kind of just help guiding it to how I want it. You want to tack it down and somewhere along the film first. So that way, when you when you pull against the film, it's not gonna move. Lift it up if you want, but uh, as long as where you lift it up is not uh, tacked down. So once you had it hit it up, go ahead and help it form the shape you want, and squeegee it as you go. 
So by squeegeeing, you're pushing, pushing the the water from the back, Just pushing it out so it will stay. And it's important to squeegee every spot because you don't want any of the, uh, the soapy water to stay. So let's stretch it this way. Hey, hey! Hello. Oh, you do that too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, same, same process. So, so you see how right here? Uh -huh. Right here? Oh, actually, no, you can. You can shrink it right here. Uh -huh. You see it? Tack it down like this, uh -huh. and then just shrink this. Okay. That's it. Or you can stretch it.